Live from Eric Lee Machine of 1977, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And here's the Dragon Slain Knight that will do a 20 round battle against that mean old dragon, our host of the show, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lee Machine of 1977. Episode 1,791 of the show, and it's uh, episode 113 of Martindale Monday, the first Martindale Monday of November 2024. Guys, if you like physical releases on video games, and if you're a big Marvel vs. Capcom fan, there are 18 more days left to get your physical copy of Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. Right now, it's coming out for the PlayStation 4 5 and the Nintendo Switch. And I have ordered people ordered the Nintendo Switch beforehand, so have a little bit of fun. And later on, this afternoon, in fact, about a little bit about an hour, episode 300, both of us and Sophie's check the boys out. What do they have in store for us for this 300 episode? We'll find out. I'm wearing my show, uh, shirt appropriately for Tic Tac Doe. Play the bonus round. Y'all know how this works. Y'all know the drill. Let's get to it. <laughs> We're shuffling, and if you see my voice, it's not a little, got a bit of a cold, but at least it's not, a bit, uh, it's not affecting my voice per se, but, you know, no talking, I feel like Tran Drescher. Hey, Mr. Sheffield! Okay. All right, let's get going. M number four. Hey, Mr. Sheffield! That's not it. Okay. Uh, one nothing. This sucks to start off. We'll go around two in a minute. All the others, tick and tack, seven and eight. Okay, round two. All right, let's go number two. 250. Number nine. 400, 650. Let's go number seven. 300, 950 is number five. The number, yes. There you go. Super Mario game. One up, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. Let's find out where the dragon was. One, three, four, six, eight. Who do we not appreciate? Number eight. There he was. Tick and tack, one and three. Let's jump right up for round number three. Speed of three. Let's go number three for round three. One hundred dollars. Number nine. One fifty. Straight number six and five hundred. Let's go number eight. Tack. Let's go number five. Two fifty. That's a thousand even. Two to one. Very good. All right. Where was that dragon? One, two, four, seven. Which number was not heaven? Number two this time around tickles behind number one. Let's jump it up around four. Now I kicked it off with four uh, in the, the beginning of this, but the dragon ended up going. Is he there? No tick. Let's try number nine. A hundred. Let's try number three. Five hundred. Let's go number six. Two fifty. Let's try number five in the middle. Tag it. That's another win. Three to one, folks. Three to one. After four rounds. One, two, seven, eight. Who do we not appreciate? It would be number eight again. Let's shuffle it up. Let's shuffle it up. Number three. Uh, okay, uh, let's win round number five. Okay, number five. Let's tack. Let's try number nine. 300. Let's try number six. 400. Let's try number four again. See if Tick's behind there. Yep, it is again. Four to one after uh, five rounds. All right, then. One, two, seven, eight. Who do we not appreciate? Eight again. That dragon loves number eight now. He's always hiding in his cave, as uh, the MVG production crew usually says. All right, then. We're going around number six. Let's try six. Five, one hundred dollars. Number nine. Four hundred. Uh, let's go to number eight again. Two fifty. Let's try number five. Do that work, Tick? Let's go to number seven. Three hundred. That's another win. Five to one after six rounds, ladies and gentlemen. We are on. I'm on a roll here. One through four. Which number would have shut the door? It would be number three. Green uh, mean monster up there. Number two had tack. Let's go around number seven. Seven lucky number. Let's find that out. Four hundred dollars. Good number so far. Number five. One fifty. Let's try number eight. Tick. Let's try number nine. Five hundred. That's another win. Very good. Six to one. After seven rounds, seven's been a lucky number. One through four and six, which number was not a great fix. 
Number four, well, that's where it was in the uh, first round. Tackles behind number three. Let's shuffle. <laughs> round eight. How great is round eight? Let's find out. It was there again. It was there again. That dragon was behind number eight a lot of times. Six to two after eight rounds, folks. Let's find out where everything else was. All the other numbers were good. Tick and tack, two and six. All right, let's go. Round number nine. Nine, three hundred dollars. Very good. Number five. Okay, got hundred more. Four hundred. Let's try number seven. Four hundred. Let's try number eight again. He was there again. I think he loves number eight nowadays. Uh, I blame the MVG production crew for that one. All right, five to three. <laughs> Always likes his cave. All right, where was Tick and Tack? One and six. All right, let's shuffle it around. Number ten. Let's do some math. 8 plus 2 is 8. 100 plus 2 is 10. 400. Let's try 7 plus 3. 7 plus 3 is... All right. Uh, four plus, uh, 9 plus 1. 9. Oh, don't need it. Don't need it. 7 to 3 after 10 rounds. We were halfway there. Okay, 1, 4 through 6, which number was not a great fix. Ooh, good thing I picked number 9 first because... Because the dragon was there behind number one. Tickles behind number six. Let's shuffle up around number 11. Let's go. Six plus five is 11. Six plus five is 11. All right. Seven plus four is seven. No. Nope. That was not it. Well, it is seven plus four. Seven plus four is 11. All right. What was behind number four before we go on? Oh, number one. Tickles behind. No. A hundred dollars. Tickles behind number one. Excuse me. Boy, I think we have a, sometimes when your sinuses are acting up, your brain does not function properly. Let's go to number 12, though. <laughs> Try to figure out simple stuff like math here. All right, 12. 7 plus 5, 7. Plus 5 is 12. Okay, very good. 8 plus 4, 8. Oh, that dragon loves number 8. And it's catching up. 7 to 5 after 12 rounds. Let's find out where that rotten, uh, where that tick was. Number three. Three plus nine would have done, done a job for me. All right, let's go around 13. It's 13 a lucky number. Let's find out nine plus four. Nine plus four. Hey, that works. Hey, there you go. Eight and five. Eight and five, yeah. 13's a lucky number. Very lucky in this case. Nine plus four. That did it. Tick and tack. Where was that rotten dragon? One... We don't appreciate eight. We don't appreciate number three once again. Loves number three and loves number eight. Let's go around fourteen. Dolly Parton, Sheena Easton connection. Take that trade from nine to five. Three hundred plus a tick. Um, let's see. Eight plus six. Eight. Ah, oh, that dragon again. Eight to six after fourteen rounds. Eight to six after fourteen rounds. Let's find out where that tack, where that cursed tack was. Number three. Stay away from it. All right, let's go around 15. There's only two number, two sets of numbers are there. The 15 is 19 plus 6, 9. Plus 6 is 15. All right, 8 plus 7, 8. Plus 7. Ooh, crapola. Number five. Hey, there you go. Another win. 9 to 6 after 15 rounds. I'm on a roll here, folks. All right, one through four. Who could shut, which number could shut the door? It would be number two. Little Deuce, top center. That's where the dragon was hiding. Four head tick up there. All right, then. Let's go to round number 16. Is this we 16? Let's find out. There's only a set of numbers up there. That is 16. Nine plus seven, nine plus seven. Okay, 400 bucks. Let's try eight. And it wasn't a sweet 16. It was a sour 16 because the dragon let us spoil the party. It is nine to seven after sixteen rounds. Let's find out where that stoop, where those tick and tack works. They got one through six, four and six tick, uh, tack and tick respectively. Let's shuffle it up again. We're round number seventeen. Nine plus eight, nine plus eight is seventeen. Really, 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 dragon. Dragon's been behind with number eight like sixty percent. Of this game so far, nine to eight is after seventeen rounds. 
Dragon likes to play catch. I'm staying away from number eight in the next round. Tick and ta uh, Tack and Tick, uh, six and seven, respectively. All right, here we go. Round 18. All right, let's go number five. 250. Number seven. The dragon is caught up now. The dragon has very been very mean. It, um, all nine, nine up. So I have to win these next two rounds or force a tiebreaker. Where was everything else? Tack and tick one and eight. Finally, you move from yeah, move from number eight. You moved to seven. Yet. All right, around nineteen. Let's go number seven again. One hundred dollars. Number nine. I was doing so well. I was doing so well, and then the dragon got me. Ha! Ah, ten to nine, boy. I was like the New York Yankees in that game five in the World Series against the Dodgers. You have a five nothing lead, and then they end up blowing it. <sighs> and as a Red Sox fan, don't like comparing myself to the Yankees, but that's that's oh there. All right, one through six and eight. Who do you appreciate? Tack and tick three and eight. All right, round twenty. If I win, we're going to a tiebreaker. Number four. Four hundred dollars. Number seven. Three hundred dollars. Number five. One hundred dollars. Number six. One fifty. Number nine. Tick. Number one. Tick. Yes. Okay. Dodge a bullet. We'll go to a tiebreaker here. Very, very good. Two, three, and eight. Who do we not appreciate? I had a feeling. I had a feeling that stupid dragon. Seventy-five percent of this game. He's been hiding behind number eight, his cave, like the boys in MVG Productions would say. That's right. You go to MVG Productions, go to the Discord app, find MVG Productions if you want. Go there, ask for one of five administrators, Brandon Scruggs, Corey Lawrence, Kevin Henry, Will Medina, Jason Myers. Tell them you want to join. If you can't join... Or don't wish to join. Either way, you can still, and you still want to see their content, go to their YouTube channel and MVG Productions. MVG Productions, game shows for game show fans by game show fans. All right, let's go to the tiebreaker. All the only action free in this one. Number five. Ladies and gentlemen, I must apologize. I must apologize. For my inept ability to defeat this stupid dragon, because of the tiebreaker, 11 to 10. I felt like the New England Patriots yesterday against the Tennessee Titans. In fact, I feel like the New York Yankees in Game 5 against the Dodgers, like I mentioned before. Final score, 11 to 10. That stupid dragon has won. Ah, uh, it's a disgrace, folks. It is a disgrace. It is a disgrace. 2024 has been a tough year for me, obviously. Uh-uh. You can, you can... I got four people that I know passed away. I suck. All right. Let's see where the tick and tack were. One and two. I should have known. That ding-dong dragon is always ruining me here. Oh, uh, what a slap nut the dragon is. Well, that's all the time we have on this show. Thank you for tuning in to Eric Lima Shenanigans, 1977, episode 1791, episode 113. Not a, way great, not a great way to kick off November here. When I had a huge lead and I blew it here, it's crazy. Anyways, uh, like I said, in about less than an hour, both of us on the sofas, episode 300. Check him out on the Mr. Garrison 96 channel. Romy 2184, Mr. Garrison, Romy, two, uh, uh, Romy 284, Pizzle 90. Austin Putnam, a.k.a. Garrison Newkirk, Jerome Latimer, and the Putnam Brothers, Alex and Austin. You got to see them. Got to check them out. They'll make you laugh. If you have a bad case on the Mondays, these guys can cure it. So I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Monday Night Raw, I heard it's, it's taking place back in Saudi Arabia. And uh, we get a number one contenders match for the World Heavyweight title tonight. Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, Sheamus, and, and Seth Rollins. See, like Dominic Mysterio has got a 25% chance of winning in this matchup and a 75% chance of losing because I'm sure, besides Damian Priest, I want to see Sheamus give Dominic Mysterio a bro kick to the face. And I want to see Seth Rollins give him a curb stomp. 
Alright, and Damian Priest can do whatever the heck he wants with, if, uh, um, you know, heck he w uh, wants with uh, Dominic Mysterio. Here's an idea, since Dom uh, Damian Priest is a Yankee fan, put a Dodger uniform on him. Don't put Mookie Betts, um, and don't put Shohei Otani, because I think uh, EO Sky will probably beat the crap out of, out of Damian Priest for doing that. Um, I would say, put a, uh, put a Clay Curtin, put a Dodger jersey, uh, just a plain old Dodger jersey, and and have and then beat the snot out of out of him. I have Dominic Mysterio with it while he's wearing it. I really don't care. Have a great day. Until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of nineteen seventy seven. A big beefy E do it for Bob Saget Productions. And in association with a Raven Bow for Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.